X-Men, X-Men. Every episode of this podcast is going to feature a portion where we go, also, this character should be bisexual. I think right. every character should come out. <laughs> it's the fucking X-Men. If you were to choose one male X-Men character to just reveal his bisexual it's very absolutely casually, absolutely ready. <laughs> He has chaotic by disaster energy. Rachel is the gay Summers to me. Like, they're all gay, unfortunately. But like, if corporate is going to give you one. That's the one you want. Yeah. Really? Rachel, yeah. just be gay. It's fine. Like most Claremont best friends, they feel like they should kiss. Pyro used to be gay. Pyro still is gay. <laughs> Which, by the way, another member of the Freedom Force is called Stonewall. So just, you know, come on, guys. Avalanche. Unis. Pyro. Flop. All of them. They're all gay. All but before that, he's like, I'm a huge fan. Yes. The Juggernaut is a huge Dazzler fan, which is code for a homosexual. It's like almost homophobic to say the serial killer can't be bisexual. <laughs> they literally have like a fist fight in the middle of the mutant massacre and they like get soaking wet and like there's lightning striking in the background and Callisto's like, you are a goddess. You still are this person. And I'm just like, kiss, kiss. <laughs> Shout out Disney if you're listening. If the overlords in the floating space palace at Disneyopolis are listening, Sunfire should be gay. Should be gay as hell. He is gay. They should just say it. I'm not saying it would be normal, but I'm just saying <laughs> I, I think they should kiss. I'm sorry. I'm just going to be controversial. I think <laughs> Cable and Strife, it's complicated.